deal. So, so four years ago, like four, four and a half years ago, I was living in my personal trainer's, uh, one of my good friends, I uh, was living in his house, just renting a room in his, you know, renting his guest bedroom. I uh, was waiting tables and uh, was broke and in debt and let me turn some lights on here. In debt, um, I was depressed, I was fat, I was, let's see, what else was I? Uh, I had recently been divorced. Um, what else? Um, you know, that kind of <laughs> pretty much covers the uh, the gamut, right? It pretty much uh, hits all the major things that you don't want to have going on in your life. Um, and you know, it sucked. Like it, like it sucked. It, and I can imagine. And, and I'm trying to kind of reverse engineer this whole process. And and I'm thinking back to then. And I'm thinking, you know, if I would have gotten on Facebook Live and I would have heard uh, what I'm saying now, I'd been like, man, screw this guy. You know, he doesn't understand my situation, right? And I can imagine some frustration there. And, and so I, I want to tell you this, that like, I, I was there, like I was there. Um, but here's what I know and, and ultimately you know, when I came to that realization that everything that had happened to me, everything that was happening to me, everything that I had done, the situation that I was in, that financial situation, physical situation, um, relationship, that situ like it was all my fault. At the end of the day, it was all my fault. And sometimes people give me pushback when I when I talk about that because I tell everybody like everything that happened, like it's it's all your fault. You control everything. And I understand there's things that can happen to you, especially things that can happen to you like as a child and different types of abuse type things. Like, no, that's not your fault, but letting it control you 20 years later, 10 years later, five years later, that you control that. And we've talked about that kind of stuff in the past, but like, well, this thing happened to me. Was this my fault? And you know, these things that have happened is my fault. It's only your fault if you stay in it. You know, it's yeah. only your fault if you let it trap you, if you yep. let it keep you from where you're supposed to be. Um, and that's, you know, as it, as it pertains to sales, if we can kind of come full circle on this back to the sales podcast is that, you know, from a, on a day to day basis, you'll have days where, you know, you'll have just a terrible day out in the field selling. Oh yeah. And then you got to get back up that next day and you just had your, you got to forget it too. Yeah. You got to forget it. Have a short memory. Um, and that's ultimately the realization that you have to come down to is that everything that has happened to you and everything that you are doing, it's. It's your fault. And the encouragement in that, and I've said this before, the encouragement in that is like if, if you got yourself into it, then you know, guess what? You can get yourself out of it. And that's and that's the encouraging thing. But I know still like saying that, it's like it's frustrating to hear. Like I get that. Like, oh, you're saying this and this was this was my fault. Yeah, I am. And it was the biggest encouragement that I can give anybody else is that I got myself into that situation. I was broke, I was in debt. I was depressed, I was out of shape. I mean, you name it, I was pretty much just the walking image of not, <laughs> not, not a good scenario. And I got myself there. And so if I got myself there, I could get myself out of it. And that's really what I started doing. I just started, I call it waging war uh, on personal change, but just made it my mission to start with personal development and start growing and just start auditing all the things that I was allowing in, just all the things that were coming out of my mouth, the people that I was surrounding myself with.